Here we are at part 21 of my video walkthrough for Final Fantasy. We are in the uh, Temple of Chaos still, and we are right in the second boss fight with Kraken. Hopefully this guy won't uh, tear me up too bad. Decided to go ahead and use a little Null Bolt. Just in case he does his uh, big thunder attack. He likes to do physical hits, a little white robe, a little giant's glove. Ooh, ow, damn. Kraken hits hard. Guess you'll get to see Cure 4. I hit pretty hard too. Ooh, almost a thousand damage to him. Wow. That's a lot of healing. Good old healing staff. Ah, Rock has 666 hit points. It's kind of funny. Ew. Well, Bake took care of him. Alright. Let's move on here. Now we are on the wind floor. Now if we travel south through the uh, wind floor here, we will find a very, very powerful treasure. And this treasure is... The Masa Mun. As you can see, it is more powerful than the Excalibur, and it can be used by anybody. I go ahead and give it to Red just to uh, make him pretty awesome. And um, after getting the Excalibur, I've I made a lot of progress, got a lot of equipment and uh, whatnot. I'm I want to save just in case something goes wrong. I definitely want to save. It takes like 30 minutes to go barging your way through the Temple of Chaos, so. It's like an hour's worth of work I'd lose. But I realized I was uh, fairly close to leveling. So I decided to uh, head back in and hang around just long enough to go ahead and get my level up. Putting me at level 31. And here we are! Simulated grinding! Four white dragons! Well, at least we'll get to see uh, Red show off that Massimian power a little bit. As long as I don't get frozen to the bone first, man! Go pretty mass immune. All right, level up. Everyone is now 31. All right, let's get back out of here. The only way to leave the temple is to uh, use an exit spell. Must have went a little brain dead there for a second. So it's a good thing we got the exit spell before we came in here. I guess that would mean if you didn't have a white anybody capable of casting exit that you'd be stuck in there forever once you went in. But anyway, we got our good old favorite inn over here. Good old item shop. Might as well restock. I did use a few potions while I was down in there. Trying to recover from Lich's flare and whatnot. Yay, bunch of stuff to sell. Not that we need to sell any of it. The Defender, by the way, if you use it as an item in battle, will cast Blink. If that is uh, something that might be interesting to you. I think I'll go ahead and hang on to it just in case. Just for the 
repeatedly of it. Heading over here to my inn. Alright, let's get back to it. Now, uh, since I already showed the first string of floors, I'm just going to go ahead and skip my way down to the bottom. But, before I got there, I did get, get in a uh, fight with three Nomas. Well, I got in a bunch of fights, but I uh, thought I'd throw this one in here for a second. Go Red! He's strong enough to take stuff out by himself now. Woo! Level up! Level 32. This gives Bake, um... Six attacks per round, I think. No, eight attacks per round. So if we haste him, he has a chance to do 16. Well, being on the wind floor, couldn't get out of here without having to fight Tiamat again, now could we? Hmm, <coughs> ow. It's a pretty nasty little bite. If you remember, he does like to use lightning and ice spells. I kind of uh, go a little more cautious, treat this more like a real fight, because it wasn't that long ago when we fought Team Matt in the first place. Ooh, poison! Good thing everyone's protected against instant death. Bam, 16 hits, almost 1,000 damage. Well, this shouldn't take too awful long after all. Aw, oh, that's mean. He's weak, that go around. Bam! Two attacks from Bake. Looks are hardcore when you got him hasted and powered up. Woohoo! Alright, let's move on a little bit here. Oh, it's another random fight. I decided to uh, throw this in, this one in here, just just because. I thought the uh, fights with the big vampire groups were kind of cool down here, just because you can use all your items. Man, enemies getting first strike on me. Light axe. Light Axe! Mage's Staff! I decided to go ahead and heal a little bit. See how much damage I can do with all this. Ah, oh, that was kinda weak. Burn! Ooh, took out two of them. How about some more light axe? Bam! Anyway, I had some extra time on this video. Thought I'd throw that fight in. Here is the bottom floor. Which, um, you can't really tell by the way the pedestals are shaped, but if you have a map, you can see that it's shaped like a pentagon. Since we're about to go fight the final boss, we should probably restore ourselves up to maximum power here. Wow. This might take a while, huh? Look at those poor, poor potions slowly disappearing. Everyone will get healed up here and eventually, right? Wow, oh, down to 60? Yay! 56 potions left. Go ahead and memo save. And here we go.